Greetings and salutations from yours truly, Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I have a few things to say about oh, what happened today. On January 9th of 2014. As you know, I've been working for a job. I told you that today I was supposed to go to workforce and everything. And it wasn't so bad, <laughs> though I did screw up the appointment a little bit. I was supposed to come next week, but due to my horrible scheduling thing that I was supposed to do, well, it was a little early. Let's just say that. But it wasn't too bad. And the woman that I was working with was relatively nice, and clean cut, uh, Pretty much I have all the stuff, of, well, for many hours stuff, I have a pamphlet about like this, this big, this wide, you know, the average size of one. <laughs> and basically, I'm supposed to go to a website and fill out some vacation or something and apply there. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't so bad. I think. It was just nice to get through it quick and painlessly. Anyway, mostly because she had to go to a meeting next week. I got to be prepared for something else I want to do. Uh, next. Oh, yeah. I had a very interesting struggle. Apparently, not too far away from where I had to, from the office of where I had to go, to to look at uh, workforce. I mean, I guess it was far away if you're talking or walking, but um, there was one place where apparently there was it was for adults who were mentally eh, retarded or maybe not mentally retarded. I hate using that word. Um, mentally handicapped or something like that. I myself am not mentally handicapped, but it was a nice place. I thought about maybe volunteering, but part of me was kind of conflicted because I don't know a whole lot about people who are mentally retarded. So I, I'll admit when um nowadays, since I have become so introverted, I don't spend time outside of my normal social groups. I'm usually very shy. Right now, I'm trying to start another group, which is the... We haven't really decided on the name, but we're basically going to play Dungeons and Dragons. It's not bad. It would be kind of cool. Um, mostly, uh, we're going to be at the library, which is a good place for people to be. We're probably going to meet twice a week. Anyways, back to what I was talking about when it came to the... Yes. They were nice people, you know, I, I even met one of them and helped them, you know, held the door open for them. Because I kind of see this person was on a, was riding an electric wheelchair and it went by, it looked like it was going by fast, like they didn't have much control over it. But, you know, as I went to go press that, you know, automated button, blue button for basically people who are in a wheelchair or something like that, will have that little man on it and to hold the door open before them. She was incredibly thankful. Even even said that she she liked my actual name. I'm not gonna say what it is. So don't even ask. That's what my real name is. And I'm not gonna divulge her name either. But she was the nicest woman I've ever met. She was she was middle aged, we'll say that. The middle age, I don't want to give her the age. I do either. Uh, but we had a bit of an interesting conversation. Uh, she basically said, if anyone makes fun of you for your height, you know, be known that, you know, I think you're a wonderful person. You know. And I thought she was a nice lady too, and it made me really think. I should try. 
do something with other people, especially older than me. Uh, I also thought about why am I comfortable around that. I mean, a lot of times I bring up the whole, I don't want to be around mad people. But the reason why I'm uncomfortable around mad people is, well, I've been uncomfortable around a lot of people for, for the majority of my life. But, I mean, just for the fact that uh, I have a tendency to be very, very shy. Okay. And I can't help it. It's just something that I'm born with. I guess, and I guess it's something that they're born with, too, isn't it? So, uh, I guess the lesson of this is do your best not to be ignorant, and heck, even spend time with people that you barely know. You might be surprised what kind of people you will meet and know. Anyways, um, uh, I would say thank you to the, my new, new subscribers. I have so far gotten, like, two new ones from last night and the today. Okay, so I'm up to like 56 subscribers. Oh, thank you for people who are now following me on Tumblr and Twitter now. Um, it's most appreciated. I hope we can have a close conversation. I want to start a hangout chat pretty soon. Uh, or, you know, I'll post on Twitter. As you know, I have my Facebook, so you'll see something eventually. And we'll basically just have a conversation. I'd like to find another venue because as much as I like doing it here in my dorm room, my uh, roommate's not too comfortable with where, you know, other people see me. Um, anyways, thank you, and please, if you haven't, subscribe to me, please do so if you want to. The button's right over here. Uh, please like, share this video, and thank you for listening to my randerings. It's not really that important today. It's been a really relatively quiet day. And I hope you all have a great January 10th and run out of holidays. We're, we're probably officially out of holidays, aren't we? Anyways, yeah. please follow me on my Tumblr, Twitter, and maybe Facebook if you have the time. Hey, okay. I like to chat there too. And have a great night. And Emily Hamale, sign.